Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining Signal Set Jump API and Signal Long Jump APIs. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. And please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of Signal Set Jump and Signal Long Jump APIs. So before explaining signal set jump and signal long jump, you have to understand set jump and long jump APIs first. So set jump and long jump APIs are defined in a header called setjump.h header in a C standard library. So you can see here uh, set jump take the buffer, right? It uses the buffer as the argument. So why it use buffer? Set jump is like a bookmark. That means if you want to remember some location, you can do that using the buffer. You can store the location that wants to be remembered in the buffer. Right? You can uh, remember the current position. Right? Whatever the position it may be. You can remember the proper position where you are right pointer is actually right set jump is mainly used to remember the function uh, position remember the position like bookmarking it is like bookmarking and the set jump function returns zero if it is a success set jump function returns zero now what is the use of a long jump you can see there uh, long jump also take the buffer as the uh, argument along with it is going to take AI. So what is the use of long jump? So in set jump you saved the position. Now you have to go back to the position that is saved. How you can do that means you can you uh, you can do that using the long jump long jump API. Getting guys in a set jump API what you are doing you are saving the position. Yeah, right using a buffer you are going to save your position in the buffer in the using the long jump you can go back to that position you can jump back to that position using the long jump api so this long jump api is going to return one if it is a success set jump api is going to return zero if it is a success hope you understood the concept guys set jump is used to remember the position Long jump is used to go back to that position that is saved. Getting? Now, what is the six, six set jump and six long jump APIs? So, six set jump and six long jump APIs have similar functions as their corresponding set jump and long jump APIs. So, these APIs are also same as set jump and long jump APIs. And this uh, signal set jump and signal long jump APIs are defined in POSIX.1, right? And on most Unix system that support signal mask, whenever the uh, wherever the Unix system that support signal masks are there, so you are going to right uh, use six set jump and six long jump APIs, right? So the function prototype of the APIs are you can see there. Six set jump and signal long jump is using a buffer. Along with that, uh, six set jump is using the env variable uh, env uh, argument. Along with that, it is using a signal mask argument. Long jump also using the buffer, right? And also it is using the ret underscore value argument. I will explain this argument now, right? So see here. The six set jump and six long jump are created to support signal mask processing. Right? Signal mask, if you want to know more about signal masks, you can go, uh, go to the playlist uh, Unix system programming. There I explained the signal mask in detail. You can go through it once. But uh, briefly, if I, want, uh, if I want to tell what is a signal mask, signal mask contains the signals that are blocked. Signal mask contains the signals that are blocked. So here, six set jump and six long jump are created to support signal mask. How they are going to support signal masking? Because 
specifically it is implementation dependent on whether a process signal must be saved and restored when it invokes the set jump and long jump APIs respectively. Here using a set jump and long jump API you can store your signal mask then you can go back to the signal mask where you can go back to the position where your signal mask is saved and you can restore your signal mask. Now you understood right? So I can save my signal mask. After saving the signal mask I can go back to that signal mask. Then I can restore that signal mask. And also it is purely implementation dependent. Getting guys? So set jump, long jump why it, why it is used to save the position and to go back to that position here also I am saving the signal mask and I am restoring the signal mask by going on to the position where your signal mask is saved hope you are understanding guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section next the sig signal set jump API behave similarly, similarly to the set jump API but some difference is there what is that uh, except that is the second argument what is the second argument there so here the second argument is save signal mask so this is the argument right so this argument save signal mask which allows a user to specify whether a calling process signal mask should be saved to the provided env argument right so it is going to tell whether the signal mask should be saved or not right if the save signal mask argument is non-zero the caller signal mask is saved else signal mask is not saved right so if it is the argument the if the save signal mask argument is non-zero if the return value is non-zero the caller signal mask is saved caller means the process that is calling the signal mask that signal mask is saved or else signal mask is not saved based on the argument right guys hope you are understanding now the signal long jump api does all the operation as the long jump api you know that long jump api why it is used to go back to the position that is saved but it also restores here what is the extra thing that signal long jump api does but it also restores a calling process signal mask if the mask was saved in its env argument so long jump api what it does it is going to restore your signal mask if it is saved in the env argument you are going to save your save your uh, signal mask using the save signal mask argument and you are going to restore that saved signal mask using signal long jump argument right so where it is uh, where actually the mask was saved in the env argument so in its env argument you can see there i used the env argument in both the prototypes so there right uh, your uh, mask will be saved you can restore that mask from this env argument now what is the ret underscore val argument you can see there uh, in the function in a signal long jump I am using the ret underscore value argument so why I am using this means uh, you can see here the ret underscore value argument specify the return value of the corresponding signal set jump api when called by the signal long jump api getting guys so this ret underscore value argument specify the return value of the corresponding set jump api right its value should be non-zero number and if it's zero the signal long jump api will reset to one hope you are understanding ret underscore value means it's a return value the return value argument specify the return value of the corresponding signal set jump api so it, the signal set jump api the value will be returned by that right so that value right that value is specified by return value argument why it's going to return when it's going to return when called by a signal long jump api right when called by a signal long jump api the return value is going to specify the return value of the corresponding signal set jump so what is its value its value should be non-zero number if it is zero what happens the signal long jump api will reset it to one 
and one more important thing the signal long jump api is uh, is usually called from user defined signal handling function if you want to call this signal long jump api you can call that by using a user defined signal handling functions user defined means user can define the functions to call this signal long jump api this is because why we have to do this this is because the process signal mask is modified when a signal handler is called and signal long jump to, uh, signal long jump should be called to ensure that the process signal mask is restored properly getting guys when a process signal mask is modified see when a signal handler is called the process signal mask is modified right to restore that to restore the mask properly you need to call signal long jump getting guys right so this is the following c program that illustrate the use of uh, signal set jump and signal uh, long jump apis so here i am used uh, header files i was stream yesterday wo unistd signal.h and also set jump.h header file so i am using a signal jump buffer and also env variable i am uh, using a function call me to cap the signal right right i'm you uh, catching the signal you and you can see there so signal long jump uh, function i'm using and uh, i'm using a, a argument env because you know that the signal uh, env argument uh, right stores the uh, value right stores the particular signal mask uh, there only i can uh, fetch that value right so next may a program execution starts from the main function so you are using a variable sorry data type sorry data type called sig set underscore t you are because you are uh, st uh, storing the uh, signals of the signal mask in a variable called uh, sorry in a data type called signal set underscore t right next sig action because you know that for every signal three types of action is possible default action or else you can ignore a you can ignore a signal or else user defined handler functions can be called so that sig action is defined next you have to check whether the signal mask is empty or not right right if the signal mask is empty it is going to print a error message set signal mask that's why i'm using the right uh, sig pro mask uh, api right to set the mask right or else if the signal mask is not empty what you are going to do you are going to add you are going to add signal what what is the signal you are going to add sig segmentation v you are adding the segmentation v to the signal mask that means you are going to tell that you have to block that signal signal segmentation v because mask contain the blocked signals right right and you are also uh, specifying the signal handler right so to cap the signal you are calling you are calling a function call me right to cap the particular signal right and after that so you can see there sig action if the action is not defined for a signal because three actions can take place for a signal if it is properly not defined it will define the error message sig action next the main part of this program that is you are setting sig set jump right uh, if it is not equal to 0 environment variable uh, so yeah environment variable it contains one and it's not equal to 0 it will return error all right else else what it will do return from first time six set jump is called that means it will return the position where right it is the re it will return the position of the six set jump api because you know that six set jump is used to store the position right it will return all, all after that it will wait for the signal interrupt interruption that's why i am using the pass function so you can see there this program sets its signal mask to contain sig term and then sets up the signal trap for the signal in signal so trap means you know that i told you uh, that is um, 
it call be function to cap the signal right next uh, what it does so the program then calls six set jump to store its code location in the environment global variable i told you six set jump is going to store the location in the environment global variable you can see there right so the location will be stored in the environment global variable and note that signal set jump call returns a zero value when directly called in the user program and not through signal long jump so you are directly calling this in the user program so it will return zero that's why i'm comparing with zero if it's not zero it will return error right right return from signal interruption otherwise return from first time signal jump is called hope you are understanding next the program suspends its execution through the pass api so why i am using a pass api to come out of the program how you are going to come out using a pass api it will wait for the signal interruption when the signal is interrupted we will come out of that hope you are understanding right why you are using signal set jump here to return right right to return to the code location that is in the environment variable hope you are understanding guys if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section and whenever the user interrupts the process from the keyboard the call we function is called call we function mainly used to cap the signal so whenever the user interrupts the process from the keyboard signal will be sent right so the signal will be cast using the call me function the call me function calls signal long jump api to transfer flow back to the signal set jump function in the main which now returns a two value you know that signal long jump api used to go back to the set jump function set jump function so that's why what is the value it is returning here you can see the value that is returning so long jump is returning the value 2 because it's go back to the position of right it will go back to the position of the uh, right set signal that's why it's re uh, returning the valuable sorry returning the value 2 two, two times first time and the second time right hope you are understanding guys right so this is the output so you can see there return from the first time signal set jump return that is the first time why so first it will uh, set the signal it will uh, store the position so signal long jump will go back to that position first time then second time when the signal interruption occurs right so see you can see their catch signal signal will be catched second time right so signal long jump will move to the third position second time right to because to it has to store the location where your program is interrupted second time right hope you are understanding guys if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video